Hello, Overray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overray Hills, and welcome to another day. Are you guys ready to spill the tea, to do some recaps, to just have some fun? Like, sit down, stay tuned. As always, I'm gonna be dropping videos every hour on this beautiful Saturday. Girl, I know that I usually do recaps live, but this week has been a little bit hectic, like moving stuff and, and you know, things. So um, I'm just gonna be doing the recap of Verre Hills and Dubai like today on videos. And next week we just return to like our usual setup, you know, our usual things that we do. Um, I was really thinking, should I do this recap or just wait till next week? But the thing is like Burberry Hills, it's really happening and each, each episode is really good. Also Dubai. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to put it out there because I have opinions and I know that you have opinions as well. And I'm very eager to read what you guys are thinking about everything that is going down on each franchise. So during the day at some point, I'm going to be dropping also Dubai. So stay tuned for that one and yeah i think i think we should get into it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this uh, mess hey yo mio no my friend my son and my sister i am is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So, I mean, look, this Erica Jane situation on the Real House of Beverly Hills is just like it's becoming now like awkward and weird like we already know that she's an asshole and she doesn't give a shit about people but now it's kind of like going to a point when where it's getting like kind of like uncomfortable to watch you know because she is very she is being so messy on each episode that now it's like ugh, not only I do not like to watch her on the show. Now I have to watch her being a drunk and a mean drunk on the show. So it's like like she's going down that hill fast, right? So we're going to start this episode on Diana's Christmas party, okay? She, they're still doing the same. And we're going to start with, of course, Erica Jane offending Crystal Minkoff, telling her that, oh, do you want a chicken tender? Oh, right, you cannot have this, you know, uh, basically mocking the whole eating disorder situation. And we can see, like, we all could see on, like, Crystal's face, like, she was like, what should I do now? The only thing that I was thinking is, like, girl, go and get your chicken tender, you know, you deserve the chicken tender. You know, I will have take the chicken tender, bite the half, and throw the other half to her face. You know, but anyways, she she didn't got she didn't got the chicken tender. You know, and Erica Jane was just like playing with all of this situation. Like honestly, it was very very uh, disgusting. Uh, then we get Kathy Hilton. She arrives. Oh my God, Kathy Hilton. Uh, saying hi to Sheree, like, and telling her, like, oh, my God, where do we know each other? I love you. Like, you're amazing. Yes, I definitely have seen you before. And Sheree is like, um, girl, I don't think we know each other. I mean, I think we have never said hello to each other, you know? And I'm thinking, I'm loving that Kathy is like, I'm so good with faces. Like, I never forget everyone. It's like, girl, you don't know her. I'm thinking, and this is just me, I'm thinking because... Kathy has a problem with her eyes. I'm thinking that she thought that she was Garcelle, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> I thought that she just saw, like, a, you know, like a, a blurry black person, and she was like, oh, that's Garcelle. Hi, girl. You know, because after telling Garcelle that I thought that you were Kyle, I mean... I now I can't expect anything from Kathy Hilton, you know, but it was it was it was very funny and Cherry keeps him being like, yeah, I don't know you. This is awkward. Uh, then we're gonna move into Asher singing. So, you know those rumors that Asher is gay or you know, on part of the community, or are Sergio from Dubai. 
I don't feel those vibes from Sergio at all. You know, he's just extra sensitive. But when it comes to this Asher guy, girl, like my gaydar just go like insane. Okay, it's something is going on there because it is one thing to be sensitive and it is another thing to just be gay. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he is gay. Maybe he's bisexual, you know, but I mean, there are some mannerisms and something that I was like, hmm. I don't know. I don't buy the whole, you know, I'm straight guy. But anyways, one thing that I have to give him props is that that he actually had a good voice. And he was singing very well uh, until Erica Jane decided to open her mouth and start singing in a drunkly way. This is not a concert, bitch, okay? This is not like you at the Hollywood Bowl singing to with like a thousand more people. This is a private reunion. He's having his moment right there, and she is screaming completely pitchy, like in a horrible voice. She's not even hitting the right notes. It was so embarrassing, and you can tell that every single person was completely awkward, you know? Like, they were looking at her like, bitch, please shut the fuck up. What are you doing? Uh, they were like, Crystal didn't know where to go. Kathy Hilton was like, oh, God, you know? Uh, Garcelle was so embarrassed by her. Like, mm -mm, it, was not a, it was not a good situation. That's the only thing that we have to say. It was not a good situation with... Um, with uh, Erica Jane starting to, you know, disrespect another person, okay? And being drunk, disrespecting people left and right. Then they, they that's finished. They go outside. And this is the part that really, honestly, was cringy AF and annoyed the F out of me. And it's like Erica talking to Kathy Hilton, asking her for, for, for forgiveness. Like, uh, I'm being like, please forgive me for not going to all the events that you and Paris and Nikki invite me. I didn't want to get this scarlet letter go and this shameful thing. I was like, bitch. I mean, the whole victim thing, I am so not down with Erica Jane, okay? I was like, shut the fuck up, okay? No one cares about your scarlet letter. You have a scarlet letter because you wrote the damn letter, basically. Okay, he, this is who you are. And she is like, where is that energy for asking the victims for forgiveness? Where is this energy for stop fighting for the damn earrings? Where is this energy to help raise money for the victims? Like, where is all this energy all the time? No, she is now playing the victim and crying and oh my god, I couldn't, like, I'm so sorry, you know, like, I shouldn't be able to go everywhere, like, poor me, poor me, I'm the victim, I'm the victim, I'm the victim. I was like, bitch, shut the fuck up, okay? Like, you know, I prefer you to keep drinking and just shut up because it was just too much. I think no one was believing it except for Lisa Rena, you know, and um, it was just like that situation where you i think you can feel and you can tell that she is getting those remorse you know the, all that behavior i don't buy the victim car i just buying like shit things are getting out of control and now i don't know what is going to happen and she's really really trying to convince people that she is the poor victim when no one believed her, you know, except for Kyle, you know, because it, I, I will even think that Lisa, Lisa Rena is on her side supporting her, but I bet that Lisa Rena know that she's guilty. Kyle is the only one that just go blindly being like, oh no, she's innocent, she's innocent, she's innocent, she's innocent, you know? Um, Kyle... Oh, they uh, the, the, the start talking, you know, Kyle feels bad for Sutton because she has to be alone for Christmas. Sutton got uh, positive for uh, COVID literally on the day of the party. So that's a whole thing. Uh, and then you can tell that Kathy, I love that Kathy was the embodiment of like everyone when someone is drunk telling you shit and you are just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can just no way, you can just... You just want to be out of there. 
And as soon as she could, she was like, yeah, I'm going inside. It's getting a little bit chilly. But you know that she was uncomfortable as fuck. She doesn't want to be surrounded, like, with this, you know, uh, drunk, drug, uh, com- you know, bad person. So uh, she just go inside and she starts talking with the other girls. And she says, like, you know what? Erica is getting out of control. You know, like, this is just too much. You know, she is. I think she felt embarrassed for her at some point, you know? Um, they, they start talking about this whole situation that that Erica is going through, and Kyle again saying like, "Oh, she's just letting loose. She's just having fun. You should cut them some slack." I love that Garcelle was so quickly to say like, "You have to cut them some slack. I don't have to do shit." This bitch has been drunk so many times around me. This bitch went on and hit on my my son, like scream shit on my other son. Like I don't have to do shit, you know. And I'm I was so happy that Garcel was able to say that because it's like why someone has to cut Erica Jane some slack after everything that is happening, after the, all the real people that are suffering out there, you know. Um. Kyle is, uh, Garcelle is calling it, wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, Erica Jane is out there crying, saying that, oh my God, Lisa Rena and Amelia, they were the ones who helped me, who helped me to get help. Had help with what? Hiding the money? Because clearly it's not with becoming a better person, you know? Um, Kyle, I mean, Garcelle is calling out Erica's drunkness. You know, she's saying like, hey, Maybe she's not an alcoholic, but there is definitely an issue with alcohol and with the prescription drugs, you know? So she definitely needs to do something about that because, you know, it could happen to you once and that's fine. That's a mistake. But then when it happens twice and three times and four times, then it's like you are just an idiot that doesn't want to control this whole thing. Um, Kyle says that she is sensible to the word alcoholism because... You know, the whole thing with with Kim and, you know, I just don't want to believe that she's going through the same thing. It's not about believing it. It's about seeing it, you know, like that's their Erica Jane doing this shit. This is like the third or fourth time that we have been seeing her act this way. Like there's something going on. Again, I don't think it's an alcoholism, you know, but it's definitely whatever is going on is developing a problem with alcohol because she's becoming a mean drunk you know and it it it's not nice anymore i love that crystal says that maybe kyle think that being a friend is just like put your things next to your eyes like like you're a horse you know and just walk you know and do whatever believe whatever the other person is saying and that's really not being a friend you know i love that crystal was like being a friend is you coming to me telling me like bitch you have a fucking problem okay like stop it you are not drinking anymore because you are acting like a stupid idiot that's a real friend not just like yeah yeah whatever you want yeah let's keep drinking yeah yeah, you you have your fun you have your fun no fuck that so um I'm, i'm loving crystal for that erica is just being drunk talking friendship with lisa and diana those are the only friends that she has right now uh i i cannot believe how these people are friends with erica i just i can't then we have you know diana apologizing to garcelle for her behavior even though she still bl- blames satan for everything i mean she she's not really taking accountability but she's apologizing for her behavior to garcelle this is coming i think from some of the you know um gossips that is going around rumors that are going around you know that diana had an agenda against sutton from the beginning from either like when they start filming because she has always been going after her no matter what so she still blames sutton for everything but at least she is paying you know she is asking for forgiveness We're going to move into Dorit and PK and the whole DUI situation. I remember watching it over there. I mean, we, now we know he di- didn't want to tell the truth. She, he tried to hit it as much of uh, as much he could from her. Um, at the end of the day, it wasn't a DUI. It, I mean, we don't know, but it is what it is. I mean, the only thing that we can know is that he was arrested for an, a, like uh, suspicious of a du- DUI, but he wasn't really charged with a DUI so 
it is what it is. But one thing that uh, we love is that not even Dorit is believing PK's history, you know? I'm so sorry, but I don't think so. I don't think that a police will be like, oh, 0 0.81? Yeah, we're just going to arrest you right now for a DUI. Oh, would you just have one one glass of alcohol? I don't think so. I think he was wasted or high or something, you know, and then he had to go through the whole thing, maybe throw some money in there. I have no idea, but I don't buy the whole thing. Like, oh, just a, an attempt, you know, like it it, nev it didn't really was a DUI. Not even Dorit believed that bullshit, okay? Uh, she says that they don't lie to each other, That I'm, but she's hoping that he learned his lesson because he was definitely very shake up with the whole thing. Uh, then we're going to move on into Erica Jane trying to like do the whole thing with the chips uh, extensions, you know, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> that scene. And then uh, Erica again saying that the holidays are hard. Uh, Lisa and Mickey are they start doing kind of like an intervention on Erica Jane and this is what I'm thinking about this because she's gonna have be having this conversation with them and later with Garcelle and honestly I don't believe that she knows what is going on you know I think it felt uh, because I have deal and I have seen people you know who are alcoholic and who are into like uh, drugs and stuff when they are really ready to get help and when they are just bullshitting people and i think that that's what erica was doing she was literally just telling everyone what they wanted to hear you know the usual like yeah i know it's enough yeah i know i just got drunk it's just like i have some so many things going on but yeah i mean it was completely wrong i'm wrong yeah but it doesn't seem genuine and you know when someone has really reached bottom and when someone is just like bullshitting you like like oh these bitches are gonna talk to me about this okay yeah yeah you are right you are right yes mm -hmm. yeah you are right i'm gonna be, i'm gonna do what you said and as soon as they left they're you know drinking again so i just feel that erica is not ready to understand what is happening to her you know, and w how everything changed, and 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 she is gonna keep doing this dangerous, you know, cocktail of alcohol and pills till we don't know where. You know. Uh, then we have a scene between Garcelle and Sutton. They want to change. They want to be different people. They want to react differently. Same the usual bullshit that you do when it's New Year's. Uh, Sutton wants to be softer and put herself out there. She doesn't want to be alone. She wants to be dating. Um, and hoping that she finds someone who really, like, completes her. Uh, but, yeah, finding people. Like, finding people in 2022, it's already, like, hard. You know, like she said, like, dating, of course, is hard. Like, I cannot imagine, like, dating when you're, like, a millionaire. And, like, let's be honest, I love Sutton, but she could be a little bit, like, uptight sometimes. So, I don't know if she's, like, very, like, open-minded, you know, and, and she's down with, like, the 2022 vibe of what things are down, are, are ha happening right now, you know? So, I think it's going to be, I'm hoping that she finds a nice guy. It's just, like, I don't know. Guys are kind of assholes nowadays. Now we have Dorit and Kyle. You know, they are at their house. Kyle is kind of like saying that PK told everything to Mauricio. Mauricio hid everything for Kyle from Kyle. You know, and it is what it is. I mean, this is kind of like one of those bros before hoes situation. And I don't think it's just gonna change. You know, I mean, Kyle, she wants to put it out there like oh no you are not gonna be hiding things from me okay then um Sutton going to her date with Sanjit it was so awkward it was so weird but I don't think it's because he doesn't like her I think it's because I mean why would you go on a date especially at the beginning that you're just getting to know the other person and you're very nervous and you're very like out there and 
with the cameras and the crew and the whole thing. I just think that he was extremely nervous and that's why it looks like he was like very like, you know, like, oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna, everything that I'm saying is being on national TV, you know? So I think Sutton should have not bring him into the show just yet. Um, but I like him. He seemed like a nice guy. Let's see what what is gonna happen in there. Then we have Garcelle and Erica going and filming an, on another like dinner. Um, Erica's going around saying that she's not doing dating, that she's just doing sex. Where? I mean, who are you paying, girl? Because who will be with Erica Jane? I have no idea. Erica keeps telling everyone that. Oh, see, Erica keeps telling everyone what they want to hear. Again, she's very like, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know I black out. I shouldn't have. That's not gonna happen anymore. That that stop right here. But you know what? Instead of tea, can I have a cognac? You know, I know this. It was a cognac or bourbon. I don't know what she ordered. You know what? I was like, really? Okay. Um. And then she goes on and says that Sutton is a liability to Garcelle. Bitch, no. Sutton is a liability to you because she's not letting you get away with anything, okay? Just because you are a criminal that hasn't been caught yet doesn't mean that, uh, that people are liabilities to other people. Sutton is a great friend to Garcelle. Garcelle and Sutton love each other, okay? Like, no. I didn't appreciate Erica going after Sutton like that. And I love that Garcelle was very like, no, you know, like a liability. She is the liability. No one wants to be surrounded by Erica Jane. I mean, I think they are talking to Erica Jane because they have to, because they have a contract and they are on a TV show. But otherwise, no one wants to be around Erica Jane. And I love when she says, is there any most scandalous woman in America? She is a walking liability. You know what I mean? Erica says that Garcelle should not be covering for Sutton all the time. Um, baby girl, that's not happening anymore. Maybe it was like that last season, but I think this season Sutton has been really, really founding herself and she knows how to deal with situations now. So just keep shaking. Erica is physically shaking, okay? Because she knows that she cannot control what Sutton will do to her. And that's it. That was the end of the episode. I mean, it's really going on. It's really happening. I'm very, very much enjoying everything that is going on. And I want people to keep Erica Jane accountable. I want, I'm telling you, I mean, I have been hearing that it's very possible that Lisa Rena will leave, but that Erica Jane might be able to stay. And I want to tell you, I think I will prefer Lisa Rena for another season instead of Erica Jane. You know, I just feel like Erica Jane, her vibe, her energy is just like bad and evil. And like she doesn't deserve to be there anymore. She doesn't deserve the platform anymore. That's what I'm thinking because of everything that is going on. Like, no. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to be reading all of your comments about the whole episode. Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.